Most often people look at a painting and they get one moment. And I've always been fighting with that. So to change that element um, throughout the show, I'm going to be performing live in the gallery and changing out the show as the show evolves throughout the month. I'm Scott West. I am a visual artist. I, um, I'm also a live painter for Cloud Cult. We're at the Tarnish and Gold Gallery, my first uh, solo exhibition. The show is titled Still. I guess I would describe my work as imagery that emerges from abstraction. The unifying element of the work is really music and I guess my life and my story. Um, there is a number of people being shown in the work and that is, you know, people that, are, that, that surround me, both Cloud Cult members, friends, family, uh, images of myself. Um, also there's animals and the animals really came about from the Cloud Cult shows in, in the format that I was using archetypes or the idea of splitting the self into multiple personalities and creating a visual archetype. And then the intention was to take those characters and involve them back with the people. So you're seeing kind of the first stage of the story. What happens during a Cloud Cult show is I start with a blank canvas and the idea is that it is a visual instrument and that people get to see a song being visually written on stage each night. So we start with a blank canvas and when the music um, starts rolling out with the first beats of percussion, um, I start painting myself and Connie Manoa. Um, we both start painting and we're creating um, abstract marks, you know, the same type of rhythm that's happening within uh, the song. Um, color is chosen based off of key signature and the emotion of, of that day and, and uh, will build from abstraction and create a narrative of, of that concert. When I'm painting for a Cloud Cult audience, I really want to open up the visual arts to people that may have not have been exposed to it before. And, um, you know, I, I think that is the main reason I do the, the live stage painting. The studio work, I really, um, I guess I paint for other painters because I believe in the medium, you know, boldly. And I've idolized painters since I was, you know, six years old. When I'm painting in the studio, it's a very quiet moment, and it's a moment without any, I guess, criticism or interaction from anybody to let you know you're headed in the right direction. You just have to have a faith in your own brush strokes and, and follow your instincts. There's something I really relate to in, 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 in painting, which is the painting will really dictate where it's gonna go. Sometimes it's not always your choice. I've actually been trying to simplify my compositions and also bring the idea of a narrative in a single portrait. And you know how people say that, you know, the, the story is in, in, in someone's eyes or it's in the, in the face or in an expression. I've, I've been trying to really get that essence. And so the painting that I, I'm working on right now in the gallery is about that and it's about that process of finding that essence of the individual. Thank you. 
In the process of working live, I discovered that I really need to control the running paint that happened. So I thought if I could actually rotate the canvas, then I could control the direction of the drips and use it as a part of the composition. So I, I went to my brother-in-law, a uh, mechanical engineer, and uh, we actually constructed and, and built a custom easel. It was quite an adventure, but it was, you know, it's something that, that I can't imagine working without now. I decided to leave commercial art and delve further into the fine arts. I mean, I've spent my whole life saying I wanted to paint and was going to do it, and I kept waiting for that moment when it was the right time in life, and I basically just up and left my job and, and went into the studio and painted full time and headed on tour with Cloud Cult and it's, it's been a, a great success so far. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.